Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome to Mass Effect 2. Hill here, and we're continuing our playthrough from the first original Mass Effect with Cinderius Shepard on to Mass Effect 2. All right, so here are our options. We're going to just play this on normal. Um, as I have played this game, this probably might be my 478th time. But it's been years since I've played it, and of course, just like the other game, the original Mass Effect, you forget a lot of stuff after after a number of years. So parts of it might seem new to me, but you know, I'm sure there's going to be that familiarity. All right, so we're on normal, um, auto level up off, subtitles are on. We're going to go ahead with the squad power usage for now. I may turn it off later. But, um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. It, unfortunately, you know, there's no setting for the uh, defensive squad powers like there was in the uh, first game. But anyhow, autosave, yes. Let's continue. All right, so <clears throat> the service history we have here for Cinderius Shepard. This is our level 60 character that we did uh, manage to create. He is an adept. He is a renegade. Erdnot Rex survived on Vermeer. And Ashley Williams was killed on Vermeer. The council was lost during the attack on the Citadel. All right, let's continue. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever, and still it's not enough. Humans may control the Council, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control of the galaxy. Now, the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all advanced civilizations every 5,000 years... 50,000 years. Sorry, folks, I can't read fast enough. Engaging FTL drives. We're back on board the Normandy SR1. Active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. 
Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! to the cockpit, get Joker in the... Alright, whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to read faster. Mayday! 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 This is SSP Normandy! This is our last look at the Normandy. And it's amazing, this game, how it just starts off with a bang. Wow. I'm even disoriented. It's amazing. A couple of things as far as mods go. Very few. We're using the A Lot Textures mod. The entire game has been retextured to make it look more modern. We also have a ENB with sweet effects and the 360 controller. Those are the only mods we're using this go around. And I will put a link in the description if anyone is interested. All right, let's continue. The Normandy, I hate this. You know, this this particular scene here what happens next? I often had to leave the room, you know, when I played the the game. 400 and some odd times it's just it's just heartbreaking to watch but anyhow let's get in here and rescue joker come on joker we have to get out of here no i won't abandon the normandy i can still save her The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack.
was horrible. Commander Shepard is dead. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. because he is just so filled with biotic energy. Let's go. All right. Going with the adept again. Let's go. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <sighs> Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. see how much experience and extra stuff we got from our level 60 character. Yes. We'll need all of this. I was hoping to mod the game so that I could... Okay, calm down, Miranda. I was hoping I could mod the game so that I would have, uh, you know, like unlimited resources. Okay, I'll get it, I'll get it. All right. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. I guess there's no thermal clips in here. This is just a med bay. Find a thermal clip and uh -huh. get moving. Here's one. Let's reload. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. 
I must say the uh, controller support in this mod is, is much better than it was in the first game. And you may ask, why 478 times? And I, my answer is, this is my favorite game of all time. BioWare knew what they were doing back in the day. This game is excellent. I love it. And I just played it over and over and over again. And here we are again with yet another playthrough. Let's go! Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Don't take any chances. Stay in cover while you take out those mechs. Is the mech coming? Alright, so I do have... Nice work, Shepard. All right, let's reload. Some more thermal clips here. Oh, we're full. Okay. I don't know what it is about this game, but boy, I love playing it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow. These people are being slaughtered. many times. Alright, let's go back to the pistol. Hurry, now, how do we run? run? Okay. Singularity seems to be quite powerful. All right, we have a Cerberus laptop. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Hmm. Okay, oh, here's another laptop. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Hmm. I bet. All right, it looks like we have our first puzzle. So the mod does cover puzzles, unlike the uh, other one. Let's see, hopefully I can remember how to do this. The puzzles in this game are much easier than they were in the first one, for me anyway. Alright, let's keep moving. Uh oh. You know, I, I really liked fighting these Yimmer mechs. It's a shame that they took them out of the, the third game. Hmm. That wasn't nice. 
where are we? Look at this. We're out in the depths of space. Huh. No Got him! Here. Got to hurt! Gunfire. Drop it. Doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. It's your station, Jake. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Well, you're not the only one that was biotic. Engaging. station before we go anywhere I need some answers sure what do you want to know the last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up did anyone else make it just about everybody survived a few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out navigator Presley was killed by an explosion but everyone else including the non-alliance crew the Asari Liara and the Quarian they all made it out alive do you know what any of them are doing now I don't know commander it's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could two be anywhere. years? They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Hmm. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if check, you... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. All right, let's go. Is still full. The whole station is crawling with mix. I'm doing the best I can. Wilson, 
Okay. Find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can do. Oh, God. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Up those stairs, Shepard! Oh, God! I'm hit! They shot me! I'm keeping my eye on you, too. Come on. I trust any of you. Come on. Watch where you point that gun. More dead. The physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Hmm. Shepard! Down here! No, this looks suspicious. Look at all these dead bodies back here. Why aren't there any mech pieces or corpses, whatever you want to call them? This is very suspicious. Bastards got me in the leg! We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere till someone fixes my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. All right. Wilson's let's... hurt bad. He need... I'm I'm on it, okay? Metagel applied. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Huh? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. I can overload the canisters to... Okay, we'll do it. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Oh yeah, that sounds very familiar. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Sarah. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the Elusive Man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The Elusive Man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. 
Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. <clears throat> All right. So we're getting more. I don't know what these are. Renegade. Oh, we got Paragon too. All right, another puzzle. Oh boy, here we go. I used to be really good at this, too. Oh my gosh. Got it! Okay, got our 900 credits. Are you guys coming? Because I, I really don't trust either of you. All right, looks like we got him. I am liking this singularity. Wilson, you're up. All right, looks like we took care of them. Oh, here we go again. Identifying these things really easily. I did it. Wow, that was close. Okay, let's try this one. These are a little bit easier. Say that. Got it. <laughs> Woo, all right. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Oh, I see. I see these guys with different guns. This is the Phalanx. And it, it'll come back to me. I'm not sure the name of that one, but uh, hopefully this will all come back to me. Through here. We're almost at the. Miranda, but you were. Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. 
Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Hmm. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Alright, let's go. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Okay, let's just stop here for a moment. So apparently Shepard didn't believe Jacob earlier on the station when he told him that he had been gone for two years. So he had to confirm it again. I mean, I suppose that's natural, although a little bit uh, repetitive. Um, okay, let's continue. Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Council died on the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren, what happened next? I remember this. With the Council dead, humanity stepped into power. We formed a new Council. I recommended Ambassador Udina to lead it. Yes, Ambassador Udina is now Counselor Udina. He's done an admirable job of representing humanity's interests. Not sure he's done enough for humanity, but I guess that's politics for you. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there. And I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Yes, let's go. All right, and here we are. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Okay, we get more, uh, I guess, awards and stuff. But okay, we're going to end the video here, and again, I just have to say how amazed I am by this game. I mean, this is the best game I have ever played. Bioware, thank you, and I wish you could get back to this level of glory with your video games. I hope things are going to work out for Bioware. I really do. But anyhow, we will continue with Mass Effect 2. In our next episode, this is Hill, and I'm out.